The message of today's reading is uh, concise in the responsorial psalm. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. We sing that refrain often, and the question is how often we actually do it. Honestly, I don't think that we are as active, quote, telling the good news as much as we should. One practical reason for so many of us gathered today at this Eucharist is that we are seniors and elders. In truth, apart from our getting older, our upbringing in the faith, although filled with lots of required rules and routine practices, didn't stress the importance of evangelization and spreading the faith. Yes, I know that we often responded when one advised, keep the faith with a quick and spread it around, but I'm not so sure we always did. It just wasn't how we understood or lived out our faith life. Our goal was very clear, save your own soul, not others. One of the consistent objectives of Pope Francis has been to stress the critical commitment to evangelization. After all, he named himself after St. Francis, who prayed, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Imitating the example of St. Francis, the Pope has been relentless in stressing how all the members of the church, from the Pope to cardinals, bishops, priests, deacons, and laity, must take this task seriously. For example, Pope Francis has cautioned the clergy not to remain above or aloof from the sheepfold, but rather have the smell of the sheep. The consequences of being in close and intimate contact with the pastoral care that touches the heart of Jesus in each person. Paul's letter is a great example of this responsibility. He's defining his teaching, preaching, and pastoral care without being defensive. He makes no excuses for his leadership and personal example, and neither should we. We need to enkindle that commitment to service that includes action, practice, and contemplation, prayer, which makes the prayer taught by Jesus to his disciples and us so important. Prayer is the bedrock, the foundation, and the ground of our following Christ. We can't be who we are called to be without it. The Our Father offers us, with a few poignant petitions, the strength of faith and hope we need to be an example to others and to draw them closer to Christ. Many of you celebrating with us today are not going to be super active evangelists for a variety of reasons. But finding your action is key. Let me suggest that for many of you, it is your prayer each day. For the church, for its leaders, for its priests and pastors, for its parish staff and leaderships, they need your prayer. Personally, I need your prayer. Thank you for offering it because it encourages us to go out to all the world and tell the good news.